हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू सक्सेस एजुकेशन टुडे विल बी डूइंग द वर्कबुक सॉल्यूशन फॉर सोशल साइंस फॉर स्टैंडर्ड नाइन चैप्टर नंबर वन दैट इज राइस ऑफ ब्रिटिश रूल इन इंडिया बिफोर दैट इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल टिल नाउ प्लीज टू सब्सक्राइब इट फॉर मोर वीडियोज सो विल बी स्टार्टिंग विद द सेक्शन नंबर ए दैट इज आंसर द फॉलोइंग क्वेश्चन एज रिक्वायर्ड सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज मैच द फॉलोइंग फर्स्ट वन फर्स्ट गवर्नर जनरल ऑफ ईस्ट इंडिया कंपनी दैट इज क्वेश्चन आंसर नंबर फोर दैट इज वर एन हैस्टिंग्स Second, architect of the subsidiary alliance system. It's option number five, Wellesley. Third, implemented the policy of annexation. It's option number two, Dalhousie. Fourth, liberal governor general. It's option number one, William Bentinck. Now, question number two that is true or false. First one, Mr. Uh, sorry, Mir Jafar, the Nawab's commander in chief, remained inactive during the Battle of Plassey in. Seventeen fifty-seven A.D. It is true. Second, Warren Hastings became the Governor General after Cornwallis. It is false. Third, there will be one English representative in the State Assembly. Was a condition of this subsidiary alliance system. It is true. Fourth, Wellesley is known as a Liberal Governor General. It is false. Fifth. Governor General William Bentinck followed the policy of conquest, confiscation, and annexation. It is false. Sixth, after the dual power policy, the glitter of the economic prosperity of Bengal was faded. It is true. Seventh, according to Regulating Act, Warren Hastings became the first Governor General of India. It is true. Now the third question: answer the following questions in a word or two. first uh, first one is which was the main trade center between india and europe it is constantinople second who discovered the cape of good hope it is bartholomew diaz third who were the first among the european people to come to india for trade it is portuguese fourth under whose leadership the first ship of east india company arrived at surat it is william hawkins fifth after the throne of mir jafar whom did the east india company make the nawab of bengal it is mir kazim sixth which act was passed by the english government in 1773 it is regulating act seventh Which system is introduced by Governor General Wellesley? It is subsidiary alliance. Eight. Which Governor General had adopted fierce imperialism? It is Dalhousie. Ninth. By whose efforts English education was introduced in India? It is Macaulay. Now the fourth question that is fill in the blanks. First one. The Turk Muslims had conquered Constantinople in 1453. It's option number C. Second, Vasco da Gama discovered the new sea route to India in 1498. It's option number A. Third, the British Parliament enacted the Regulating Act in 1773. It's option number B. Fourth, Tipu Sultan is famously known as the Tiger of Mysore in Indian history. It's option number A. Fifth, the decline in the fame of the East India Company is attributed to the policy of neutrality followed by Sir John Shore. It's option number A. Sixth, subsidiary alliance system was the sweet poison. It's option number B. Seventh, the Marathas became very powerful during the reign of Sir John Shore. It's option number C. Eighth. The first railway line was laid between Mumbai and Thane in 1853 it's option number C Now question number 5 that is choose the correct options from the given below options that are given right So the first one is what was the main trade center on the trade route between India and Europe since ancient times it's option number A Constantinople Second The Europeans were required to find a new sea route to India after the conquest of which city by the uh, Ottoman Turks that is the Muslims it's option number D Constantinople third 
हू डिस्कवर्ड दी सी रूट टू इंडिया इट्स ऑप्शन नंबर सी वास्को डी गामा फोर्थ हु बिकेम दी फर्स्ट गवर्नर जनरल ऑफ इंडिया इट्स ऑप्शन नंबर ए वॉरन हैस्टिंग्स फिफ्थ विद हूम डिड द ब्रिटिश फाइट द थर्ड माइसूर वॉर इट्स ऑप्शन नंबर ए टीपू सुल्तान सिक्स ड्यूरिंग हूज टेन्योर वॉज द पब्लिक वर्क डिपार्टमेंट एस्टैब्लिश इन इंडिया इट्स ऑप्शन नंबर बी डेल हाउजी सेवेंथ ऑन हूज रिकमेंडेशन वेयर द यूनिवर्सिटीज एट मुंबई चेन्नई एंड कलकत्ता एस्टैब्लिश इट्स ऑप्शन नंबर सी चार्ल्स वुड एट हु डिस्कवर्ड केप ऑफ गुड होप इट्स ऑप्शन नंबर बी बार्थलोम्यू डियाज नाइन्थ हु वॉज appointed as the governor general after cornwallis its option number d sir john shore 10th between which two cities in india was the first railway line laid its option number d mumbai and thane now section b answer the following questions as required first one is when and between whom was the battle of buxar fought what was its result The Battle of Buxar was fought between the East India Company's army and the United Armies of Mir Qasim, the deposed Nawab of Bengal, Siraj Ud-Daula, the Nawab of Awadh, and the Mughal Emperor Shah Alam. On twenty-second October seventeen sixty-four, the Company's army defeated the United Army. As a result, the Company got the Diwani rights from Bengal, Bihar, and Odisha. second one which were the main provisions of regulating act the main provisions of the regulating act are as follows the governor of bengal was designated as the governor general of india warren hastings was appointed as the first governor general of india the governors of madras and mumbai and their councils were placed under the control of governor general all the trade and political activities of the company were brought under the control of the governor general third one why did delhouse introduce policy of annexation delhouse was a fierce imperialist ruler he wanted to expand the rule of the company and make it a supreme power in india therefore delhouse implemented the policy of annexation fourth one Wellesley implemented the subsidiary alliance system why the fame of east india company had declined and the marathas had become stronger due to the policy of neutrality of governor general sir, sir john shore the responsibility of making the company supreme in india had befallen on governor general wellesley in order to fulfill this responsibility wellesley implemented the subsidiary alliance system now section c answer the following questions as required that are the three markers question first one europeans felt the need to discover a new sea route to india explain india had enjoyed an incomparable position in the world trade there was demand for the indian spices muslin indigo and silk cloth in the european countries trade between india and europe was carried out through land route and sea route and at the center of these routes was constantinople istanbul in turkey after the conquest of constantinople by the turk muslims in 1453 the sea route passing through constantinople was closed to the europeans since they would not do without the spices the europeans felt the need to discover a new sea route to india second question give brief information about the battle of plassey the battle of plassey took place between siraj ud daula the nawab of bengal and the east india company the east india company had built a fortress around the trade center in kolkata on the pretext of security reasons without taking permission from the nawab This fortress was destroyed by the Nawab. A small army led by Robert Clive reached Bengal to protect Kolkata Trade Center. The British realized that it was not easy to defeat the Nawab. Therefore, Robert Clive resorted to trickery and hatched a plan 
to defeat the Nawab. Nawab's commander in chief, Mir Jafar, and Said Amir Chand were coaxed to work against the Nawab. The British declared the war at Plassey on the pretext that the Nawab was unnecessarily harassing the people. Siraj ud was defeated in the Battle of Plassey. Now, the third one, which were the main conditions of Wellesley's subsidiary alliance system? The terms and conditions of the subsidiary alliance system were as follows. The army trained by the East India Company will be provided to the states that accepts the system. In return, the state will provide for the army or give away provinces with equivalent income to the British. The state will not wage war or sign treaty with other states without the permission of the British. There will be an English resident in the court of the state. The state will not employ other fo uh, foreigners in its service. Fourth question. What reforms did Dalhousie bring about? The following reforms were introduced by Governor General Dalhousie. During his reign, the first railway line in India between Mumbai and Thane was laid in 1853. Wireless system that is telegraph system connecting India and England was set up. English education was introduced. Public works department was set up. Laws were passed to ban child marriage and permission given to widow remarriage. Thus, we can conclude that Dalhousie was a reformist governor general. And here we come to the end of chapter number 1 that is rise of British rule in India. I hope you have understood the complete chapter. If you have any doubts, you can write in the comment section. I will surely try to answer all the questions. Thank you for watching my video and do subscribe my channel for more updates. Thank you.